Yo, 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 guys, what up, what up? We're talking about Dash this evening, and the reason I'm talking about Dash is because there's a halving coming up in about 80 days. Technically, the term having is incorrect. I know it's in the description. The reason I did that is because nobody is talking about Dash. In fact, if you look on crypto, on crypto news and try to find articles about Dash, the only thing you're gonna find is AI generated articles that basically, they don't really, they, they're not even talking about anything that really matters. They just pull from different technical indicators on certain cryptos and create these basically um, AI generated articles that are not worth reading. So don't try to find anything on Dash right now, guys, because there's nothing out there. I've been looking every day for over a month. Um, there's just nothing on Dash right now, which is just increasingly interesting. The more and more time that goes by that we hear less and less about these important cryptos. So I think it's all pretty comical at this point, but um, you know, I carry on and, and try to do these episodes. So basically we got a halving coming up on Dash. Technically it's a reduction. Happens about every year and a couple days, about every 390 days, um, somewhere around there. And what it is, is it's a 7.15% approximately reduction in a mining reward for uh, mining Dash. Now the way Dash works is different than every other crypto. It uses an X11 algorithm, which basically in layman's terms is just different from all the other ones that we really see. Um, and basically, this is unique in a sense because Dash uh, uses this algorithm and it's basically uh, unique to Dash, right? And um, <clears throat> one of the main differences between Dash and Bitcoin is that Dash average block time is about 2.5 minutes compared to 10 minutes on BTC and miners only receive 45% of the Dash minted in each block instead of 100% on the Bitcoin. Dash utilizes the Dash utility token as a myth, as one of the main of the payment methods for fees on the Dash network, and it is used for staking in Dash masternode system, allowing users to help secure the network and return for rewards. Now there is some skepticism, skepticism guys. I just want to bring this to uh, your attention that in the beginning days of Dash, they think that like this is all speculative right get dashes came a long way since what i'm about to tell you but there was this speculative thing coming like coming about about how like people earlier on in dash had an edge on accumulating dash and becoming essentially master nodes which are kind of like the miners i mean that seems like the way it works right you have to have a thousand dash to be a master node and I mean, drop it in the comments if I'm wrong here, but it doesn't seem like it's mined in the same functionality as like say Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, BSV. But nonetheless here guys, it does use an X11 secure algorithm uh, and two popular InstaSend and private send. So there is private payments on Dash, which I think is pretty cool. But this algorithm back to this, I just want to bring this up. This X11 algorithm uses like 11 different um 11 different unique hashes now like a hash basically if you're new to crypto just think of a hash as like a digital signature these dig a hash is a digital signature the digital signatures goes into these blocks um they wait to get mined every 2.5 minutes a miner or a master node miner on dash will mine your block it gets put into the blockchain of dash for eternal time it never can be muted or it never can be um muted it never can be uh censored any of that stuff it's all live on the blockchain you can go back they have a black block explorer you can go look on dash and see a transaction you did all the way back to the inception in 2014 so it's pretty cool um you know it's a pretty cool kind of concept in terms of crypto and if you go and you follow you know i'm not on twitter guys and you guys know that but i do try to follow it when i can at least on like world coin index and coin market cap um, Dash is constantly talking about payments. This, this idea of digital cash, Dash, that's what Dash is, digital cash. And they branded this, this, uh, this word, digital cash, on Dash years ago. I've been seeing it for years. They're constantly talking about payments. Constantly, constantly, constantly. In fact, uh, I would say Dash, uh, other than like Bitcoin Cash, and really only Bitcoin Cash, is the only really consistent, eh, Zcash kind of, um, that consistently talks about peer-to-peer -peer payments. So um, what does this mean? Well, let's talk about it with terms of dollars because I know it's what everybody's interested in, right? So it went to $1,500 back in the last bull run in 2017. 
Everybody says 2021 was a bull run, but I'm still kind of waiting to zone out on this in a couple couple months and a couple, maybe a year. We'll see where it is. And 2021 might not be remembered as so much of a bull run. It might be remembered more of as like a 2019 little pump like we experienced when plus token scam was going on. So I'm not too sold on 2021 being a real, real uh, defined bull run yet, especially on the altcoins because Dash went all the way to 1500 USD all the way up from under uh, $2. You know, it probably went lower too. It was actually under a dollar back when it was started. Back it was, I mean, this shit was a hundred, this was like less than a dollar, 80 cents. Went to $1,500. So do the math on that. It's absolutely insane. But um, I know I'm jumping around here, but I do want to try to give you everything that I know about Dash, um, which might not be, um, you might find it in, in, insightful. So I'll just go and roll with it. And um, yeah, back to the algorithm. It does use some some hash. So basically, yeah, hash is just a digital signature. Now, I want to find the actual hashes that it uses um, because it is important. It's really it's really important actually because we've been talking about some of these cryptos that use these similar hashes, and it uses eleven different ones. So one of them's uh, it's kind of late around here, guys. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Uh, my eyes are starting to get kind of fuzzy. So. Um, and basically, it uses Grossel. Uh, Alg it uses Grossel. Uh, it uses, um, ah, shoot, I want to actually get you the right ones. I got to find this, guys. This is important for you because I talk about these coins. It uses Grossel, which Grossel coin uses that same uh, algorithm. So, you know, it's, it's, um, oh yeah, Dash was originally forked from Litecoin, which suffered a similar issue at its launch due to a bug and it's a difficulty adjustment algorithm. That's kind of what I was talking about where, um, where they thought Dash might have been uh, kind of like the early people in Dash maybe got an edge on exploiting that bug to get Dash for um, uh, to run a master node essentially because you have to have a thousand Dash to run a master node. So it's all speculation, guys. Like I said, Dash just came all the way from under a dollar to fifteen hundred dollars. So even if these people are bad actors in the space well they must not be that bad because the price went up to fifteen hundred dollars uh any way you look at it so i mean we're talking about 2014 to 2017 and the price went from under a dollar to fifteen hundred dollars whether or not that's from them dumping or, or buying or selling or whatever uh it's kind of arbitrary it do doesn't really matter it happens so um you know it, it's 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 water under the rug so, oh yeah, here we go. So the X11 algorithm uses multiple rounds of 11 different hashes. The Blake algorithm, which uh, just FYI guys, Blake coin uses the Blake algorithm. And I don't think Blake coins even around anymore, I don't think, but it's one of the first cryptos. It's been around for a while, at least in terms of all coins. Uh, Grossel coin, um, uh, Grossel coin, I talk about this on this channel occasionally. I mean, it's traded so many places and they actually do if you follow Gross's, Gross, Grossel Coin um, social media, they actually have been preaching payments. And they're actually a couple years ago, I remember seeing like a couple coffee shops in Europe taking it and they were trying to push it. Never really took off, but nonetheless, it's kind of like a fun little novelty coin. Uh, if you're looking for like a, just a fun crypto to be a part of, I mean, look at Grossel Coin. But uh, it uses all 11 of these different uh, hashing algorithms, right? So how to use Dash? It was launched in 2014. Um, they have their own wallet, which I think is pretty respectable for cryptocurrencies to have their own wallet. Uh, it's about the only time I'll even look into them. Um, so they have their own wallet. All the ones in the top have their own wallet in the top of the screen here. Uh, and those are, I mean, just because something's on a wallet, you could be junk, but they have their own wallet. Uh, plus it's pretty much supported on every wallet known to man. Um, Dash staking. Dash currently supports staking through the master node. Its model is a third party provider's. The average APY for Dash is currently 5.5%. Now, the staking on Dash through the master node is not the same thing as staking on an exchange, I think. I don't think it's even uh, remotely similar. So, um, if, you got big, if you got big money, Dash is probably worth staking or something to look into because you're running a master node. Like I said, you have to have a thousand, I think, at least. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just jumping around here, guys. I found this article very uh, informative and some of this stuff I knew already, but you know, if you read over it again, 
Like, yeah, Dash was launched in 2014 and doubled his X coin before it rebranded as Dark Coin, and they'd be branded again in 2015 with the name Dash to better represent the platform as digital cash. Duh, that's, why we're, that's what cryptocurrency is for anybody who didn't know. Um, Duffel has claimed that he started it as a hobby, coding it just in one weekend. So, um, stepped down in 2017, leaving the operation of protocol to the Dash core group. Dash is one of the first alternative cryptos. Alongside with Bitcoin, has been very prominent in the blockchain space for the last couple years, rising to high rank number 12 in 2018 amongst all cryptocurrencies. So, Dash has over 5,000 masternodes currently, making it one of the largest networks in the world. Uh, just FYI. And this isn't bullshit, guys. This is real stuff. Um, they've been promoting digital cash since the beginning. I've been in crypto for six years almost, and I remember Dash always promoting peer-to-peer -peer payments, peer-to-peer -peer payments. They've always promoted peer-to-peer -peer payments. So, um, what gives Dash value? Dash acts as a decentralized exchange of value and facilitates transactions between user investing in the ecosystem. Dash is scheduled to release its testnet in 2021, which will allow dApps and other stores of value to be launched on the platform. So, yeah, I mean, the same thing everything's doing, but they're doing it too, and they actually have a big network around the world built out. So, it's a little bit more of an incentive to dump your money into this rather than, say, some ERC-20 token like SHIB or something like that. In my personal opinion, guys, these are just, just my personal opinions. You guys do what you want. You're all adults. I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. Do what you want, but um, this is a coin, coin that I support for these very reasons that I'm going over now. Um, Dash, da the Dash DAO receives 10% every block reward that is solved. This is one of those things I don't really know if I necessarily agree with, but at the same time, if the DAO is receiving 10%, if the APYs for staking are 5.5%, this should incentivize people to, you know, pile into dash but it doesn't seem like dash is at least growing in terms of against the dollar but it seems like it has all the qualities to um basically compete with things like bitcoin so it's just like i said guys if you go online right now and try to find dash articles online it is very very impossible to find anything relevant to anything regarding to dash that isn't an ai generated article yeah it's true uh, receives the mining to invest as it's decided by governments using a decentralized voting system. This has allowed Dash community to create many funded organizations, including Dash Core Group, which supports continued develop integrations and other activities for Dash. Like I said, they get 10% of the block reward, uh, or every block that solves, so the block reward. Uh, Dash is seen as wide, worldwide adoption, and several vendors and suppliers allowing transactions in Dash. Dash is very popular in Venezuela, with over 40,000 users of the Dash wallet located there. A list of companies that support Dash found on their website. And Dash is very popular in South America in general. Um, you know, I don't know how it pars up with Bitcoin Cash. I don't know how to, you know, I, I don't think there's a lot of cryptocurrency adoption happening uh, in South America other than like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Dash. Those kind of are the main ones down there. So other than that, I don't know anything else really going on down there other than those three coins. Um, so they have a currently circulating supply of around 10 million, uh, maximum supply about 8 mil, 18 million. The supply will never increase unless the Dash DAO votes to allocate additional rewards from the 10% reserved for budget proposals. So will they do that? Maybe. Um, I mean, not if the price is going to not go up. I doubt they would, but maybe they would. Maybe the price will dump. We don't know. Uh, during the first 48 hours of the Dash, roughly 2 million coins were mined. This significantly exceeded Dash plans and mission schedule. Dash was originally forked from Litecoin, which suffered a similar issue at the bug of the launch and its difficulty adjustment algorithm. While it's well documented that Dash inherited the bug from Litecoin, there has nonetheless been wide speculation about whether the resulting fast mine was intentional to benefit the early miners. Like I said, it's came a long way from now. You know, even if they have dumped the price, Dash right now, I think sitting at, um, yeah, $56. So I mean, it's down. Uh, it's probably a great investment. People just aren't talking about it. They're more worried about um, coins with dog faces on them and, uh, you know, um, NFTs with fucking gorillas on them. So, I mean, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's just a quick little update about Dash. We got the halving coming up in about 80 days. Uh, it's the reduction of about 7.15% for the block reward for mining dash and um, Yeah, we'll see what happens in the next couple months with this coin. Um, I have, have always had very high hopes on dash and um, 
I think it's a current coin worth worth your time and checking out. So uh, let me know what you think. Later. <laughs>